Each and every day, that's the only thing that's on my mind every day I wake up. I remember February 28th, changed my life, basically. Basketball's been around my life since I was born. My mom would always say when I was a little kid, I had a little hoop in my room, and I would always be up in the middle of the night just playing basketball, just throwing the ball at the hoop, and just basically getting my shots up, just learn working on my form. End of my sophomore year, going into my junior year, I hit a growth spurt from 5'11 to like 6'3. And basically, I started becoming athletic. So my arms started getting longer. My body just started stretching out, and I was probably, I was able to do things I couldn't do at 5'11. I know you were a three-star recruit coming out of high school. You had teams like Rutgers, Lehigh, SMU, the list goes on and on recruiting you. What ultimately made you choose that Temple was your next home? Temple's a home away from home. Uh, Philadelphia, I live in Trenton, New Jersey, so an hour away, close enough where my parents could get to me and far enough where I could grow up on my own and become a young man. I fell in love with the coaching staff. We grew a nice bond together and the players too, so I just felt this is the right place. There's almost no question early on in the season that you were going to be like the next big thing. And right away, you logged at least 15 minutes in games like against SMU, who was number eight in the country at the time. Utah, number 16. UConn was top 25. And the, key, and the numbers go on and on. You're, you're a key contributor of that team. Can you kind of talk about how that feels, just getting injected into the starting lineup right away almost? Coming in, Dunf said, yeah, you got to work for what you want to work for what you want. The runner is good. The first collegiate points for Trey Lowe. Took that mindset to start working every day, would stay after practice, getting extra shots up, extra running, staying in condition, staying in shape. So when Dunf called my name, I just made sure I was ready and just basically stayed focused and stayed humble. Now, I think everybody remembers the big breakout game. Obviously, it was against Nova. You went for 21, huge game. They were number one in the country, too, actually. Uh, you had the first game, eight points. That's a good game. But now you have 21, you get the national spotlight. You're on primetime TV, ESPN. At that point in the season, I was just playing basketball, and I kind of got into my own groove, kind of. The high school trade was finally coming onto the college levels. His career night with another break. Impressive. Rand's going to take a timeout here, but. You like the way the freshman stepped up, he's had good moments. On February 28th, you got into that accident. I was driving home, basically should have been out that night, but I uh, fell asleep while driving, and as I fell asleep, the car, the wheel turned to the right, which caused the car to go from the fast lane all the way over. Basically, I skipped a lot of lanes, and the car turned over and it skid, and basically a lot of flips and turns and ended up in the ditch. Thankfully, the cop who seen me saved my life, because if it wasn't for that, I probably would have been dead. But um, waking up a few days later, later I kind of woke up upset, crying, confused, because I didn't really know what was going on. And my dad sat down, sat me down, and told me what happened. I was upset. Um, I didn't want to talk to anybody. Uh, kicked everybody out of my room. I wanted to be by myself. I just laid in bed and thought all day about what I just got myself into. and. I came up with the plan. I was going to get myself out. I'm going to get myself out of what I got myself into. But I always would beat myself up because I know deep down inside that night was never supposed to happen. I should have stayed on campus. Ever since that day, I just kept moving forward and just made sure that any weight I do, anything I do on the court in the weight room, I'm a master. I'm going to get it down pack and I'm going to just overcome it. You just kind of just say, so everybody who listens to this, everybody who watches this knows, are you going to play basketball again? Oh, definitely, 100% sure. I'm definitely playing basketball again.